short Mexican. <laughs> no, so am I. It's just that I'm on a hill right now, so you can't tell. <laughs> hey guys, it's Denise Salcedo with Red Carpet Report, and today we are in downtown LA for the second season premiere of Vida on Stars. All right, so first of all, I gotta know, what is it like being the showrunner of a show right now that is on a network like Stars, just being renewed for its second season and is presenting a minority that isn't represented very well in Hollywood? It is anxiety inducing. It comes with a lot of responsibility, not just the normal responsibility of make, you know, writing it and producing it and um, editing it, but a cultural responsibility to us, you know? Um, especially because the reaction to first season was actually really po positive. What, what came across to me, you know, from um, engaging with fans and uh, with people on Twitter. And so I had a lot of um, anxiety about getting it right the second season. You know, I had to work through that. But I think when you see it, I think we do get it right. Do you get a little bit nervous because you're like, okay, I want to make sure we're presenting our, representing our culture correctly. But at the same time, enough so that, you know, not just, you can say not just, you know, Mexicans are watching that. You're also attracting different types of viewers. Well, I think if I just stay true and authentic to um, these two Mexican-American sisters and their orbit, then I don't, I shouldn't have to think about that. And because of that, they'll come to it. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Other other people will find that they, a story about uh, a family or loss or coming home just on the macro. And then I think Latinx will find similarities in their culture, you know, but it's made for different audiences. It's made for the dominant culture audience and it's made for us. And hopefully everybody can find something. You know? Yeah, I want to know, obviously for Latinas, we're a very special breed. You know, we're very different, very sarcastic, very fun, very brave. I can go on and on. I want to know for you, what is something that you wanted to really portray with the two main characters about their characters and who they are. Well, it was important to me that they be unapologetically flawed because I feel like we are flawed too, uh, meaning real people in real life, you know? So, and we hardly ever get a chance to uh, um, be represented that way. Either we are, you know, archetypes or stereotypes uh, or uh, squeaky clean or just the bad, you know, cartel mommy or something and I wanted us to just be these two millennials girls that are not good but they're not bad either they're just right. real so that was super important so we're always like checking the temperature I'm like are we keeping it real for real <laughs> not always just a, not a typecast essentially no yeah and the, and the same thing with all the characters like the um eddie is a, a masculine of center butch that you have seen only uh as either com com comedy relief you know or um uh, violent but, but like in a two-dimensional way but here she's the heart of the show you know so like that was important to be like to really especially the queer characters to really treat them well you know there's a, not that many brand queers on television it's crazy how many stuff like this show is tackling not just a minority but also the LGBTQ plus community and so on and so forth. So thank you so much for talking to us today and congratulations on having the second season. Thank you so Take much. care. Thank you guys so much for watching our coverage of Vita Season 2. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. And in the comments below, let us know what you're most looking forward to during this second season. And don't forget to catch it on Stars on May 26th.